The fifth Solvay Conference, held in Brussels from October 24 to October 29, 1927, is widely regarded as one of the most pivotal gatherings in the history of physics. Organized by the International Solvay Institute for Physics and spearheaded by the Belgian industrialist Ernest Solvay, this conference brought together the greatest minds of the time to discuss the rapidly evolving field of quantum mechanics. The theme of the conference, Electrons and Photons, reflected the central questions that had emerged from the groundbreaking discoveries of the early 20th century, particularly those concerning the behavior of particles and waves at the atomic and subatomic levels. At a time when traditional Newtonian mechanics was being challenged, the debates held during this meeting would shape the future of physics for decades to come. The conference gathered an extraordinary group of 29 participants, including 17 Nobel laureates, a testament to the intellectual magnitude of the event. Among the attendees were Albert Einstein, whose contributions to theoretical physics had already revolutionized the field, and Niels Bohr, one of the principal architects of the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. Bohr's interpretation proposed a probabilistic framework for understanding quantum phenomena, an idea that clashed fundamentally with Einstein's belief in a deterministic universe. Einstein famously quipped, God does not play dice with the universe, encapsulating his discomfort with the notion that fundamental processes could be governed by chance rather than by predictable laws. Alongside these titans of physics were Werner Heisenberg, who had recently formulated his groundbreaking uncertainty principle, Erwin Schrödinger, known for his wave equation and later the thought experiment involving a hypothetical cat, and Paul Dirac, a rising star whose work on quantum superposition and quantum field theory would cement his legacy in physics. Other luminaries included Max Planck, the father of quantum theory, Marie Curie, a pioneer in the study of radioactivity and the only person to win Nobel Prizes in both physics and chemistry, and Louis de Broglie, whose theory of matter waves introduced the concept of wave-particle duality. The discussions at the conference were as intense as they were transformative. Central to the debates was the nature of the wave function, a mathematical description of the quantum state of a system, and its interpretation. Bohr and his colleagues championed the idea that the wave function represents probabilities, not certainties, of a particle's behavior. This probabilistic view was a radical departure from the deterministic models of classical physics. Einstein, however, presented a series of thought experiments designed to expose perceived flaws in the Copenhagen interpretation. In one of their most famous exchanges, Einstein proposed a scenario involving a box of light, which he argued would violate the uncertainty principle. Bohr responded with a detailed analysis that upheld the principle, showcasing the depth and rigor of the intellectual interplay between the two physicists. The conference also delved deeply into the implications of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, which states that certain pairs of physical properties, such as position and momentum, cannot both be precisely known at the same time. This principle became one of the cornerstones of quantum mechanics, yet it also underscored the philosophical divide between those who embraced the probabilistic nature of the new physics and those who sought to preserve the deterministic traditions of classical mechanics. The wave-particle duality, first proposed by de Broglie and later confirmed through experiments, was another key topic. This concept, which posits that particles like electrons exhibit both particle-like and wave-like properties depending on how they are observed, further challenged the conventional understanding of physical reality. One of the most enduring images from the fifth Solvay conference is the group photograph of the attendees, a visual representation of the golden age of physics. Seated together in this iconic image are some of the most brilliant minds of the 20th century, individuals whose collective contributions would lay the groundwork for technological and scientific advancements that continue to shape our world. Beyond the scientific discussions, the conference highlighted the profound philosophical questions raised by quantum mechanics, questions about the nature of reality, causality, and the limits of human knowledge. The legacy of the Fifth Solvay Conference is immense. It not only solidified the Copenhagen interpretation as the dominant framework for quantum mechanics but also demonstrated the value of rigorous debate and collaboration among the world's leading scientists. While Einstein's reservations about quantum mechanics persisted throughout his life, his challenges spurred further investigation and refinement of the theory. Today, the ideas discussed at this historic meeting underpin modern technologies such as quantum computing, 
semiconductors, and advanced imaging techniques. The fifth Solvay Conference remains a landmark event in the history of science, a testament to the enduring quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe.